family of JV and McGee continues to search for answers tonight, a week after he was found dead uh, with a rope around his neck at the base of a tree. The Vance County Sheriff's Office also released today some new information, including the preliminary autopsy results. McGee's grieving family joined their attorneys this afternoon to say that it is really too early to say exactly what happened here, to call this a suicide, and they want transparency throughout this investigation. On Monday, investigators released the video you're looking at here. This shows McGee purchasing rope from a Walmart. Attorneys representing the family say that there are explanations as to why McGee, who was a commercial truck driver, would actually buy rope. A timeline released by the Sheriff's Office Wednesday shows McGee drove from Pennsylvania, making several stops along the way to Henderson. The Sheriff's Office also referenced preliminary autopsy results, uh, saying that pathologists determined that McGee did not have defensive wounds and there was no sign of an assault. However, he had been hemorrhaging around his neck, the soft tissue around his neck. I don't know that lynching or a hate crime is in fact the case. What, what, what we discovered was uh, that Mr. McGee came into this county on September 11th and he died by hanging from his neck. The sheriff concluded early on and we believe prematurely that it seemed to be a suicide to him. Uh, well, that doesn't seem to be a suicide for me. And as a point of clarity, the, the attorney did say September 11th, he actually came into Vance County, we're told, on September 10th. Uh, attorneys say that his family will pursue an uh, independent autopsy and they are considering litigation.